Good day and welcome. In today's video I will show you how to color grade your drone footage like a boss. And it's very simple. I will also show you how to create your own color grading template, so stick around and learn something new today. So, um, today we are color grading uh, DJI Mini 2 shots, like this right here. Let's put it to full, full quality. And also we will be color grading uh, the DJI Air 2S shots, like this one. This is shot in HLG. And this one is shot in D-Log. So we'll be color grading both the, uh, all of the possible uh, color profiles. So normal color profile for the DJI Mini 2, uh, HLG and D-Log for the Air 2S. And um, yeah, let's just get into it. So color grading, at least how I do it, is extremely simple. So let's start with the Mini as it's the more simpler, uh, more simpler footage to color grade as the color profile is normal and that's just how it is so this shot right here around this yacht quite a cool shot i do enjoy it myself a little rotation and catching the yacht here so to color grade the, this footage we'll be going to this color panel right here and now we have this lumetri color bar here and uh, what you want to do is go to creative and uh, we will browse for some lots and if you don't have any lots don't worry later in the video i will show you how you can create your own lots or if you don't care for creating your own lot lots then uh, you will be able to buy my lots but uh, yeah so basically we just applied my favorite lot and it's a little bit too strong for this normal color profile so we'll be adjusting as a strength or uh, intensity of this lot. I, I usually stick around with 50. So now this is already looking quite different, but for my eyes, this footage is a little bit too cool. So we'll be just adjusting this slider right here, the temperature slider to make it a little bit warmer. And also I think I would like to crank down the highlights just a little bit and crank up the shadows so now it's more not so uh, it's not so punchy in the contrasty area it's just uh, yeah basically that's it i just color graded this footage look like this this is the normal one and this is the graded one and you see how fast it was that's pretty much it all you need is a good lot and uh, well the OG lot in my lot pack is the OG lot, in my opinion. I, 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 that's basically the only lot I use. I rarely use other lots because I just really enjoy the look of these colors. So uh, yeah, that was this shot. And then we can control C and control V on this shot. And here we can see it's a little bit too warm and uh, maybe crank down the shadows a little bit and maybe in this case we could crank up the intensity just a little bit so we can see those colors pop and this shot is also graded now and as we can see the difference is quite uh, it's there the difference is there <laughs> and um, yeah that is how you color grade the Gemini 2 footage very fast and very simple and I would say the results are, well, they're pretty good. I know it's not the most professional way how to color grade lot um, footage. If you want to do it fast, then really all you need is to prepare your, to create your own specific lot that that you like, that you like the colors of. And uh, now let's go to color grade the DJI Air 2S footage. Uh, this is a little bit different because the color profiles are, um, well, there are color profiles. You can have the HLG or the D-Log. The D-Log is the most flattest, but I really enjoy HLG as it retains some of that um, color uh, vibrancy and it's, it just, I like to grade it more. I just, enjoy the HLG a lot more than the D-Log as there's really nothing to do with the colors, just apply the lot and um, 
adjust some sliders so let's use the OG lot here again as we can see the intensity is a little bit too high let's keep it at 56 right here so let's crank down the highlights and let's crank up the shadows and maybe let's add some contrast and uh, I don't know cooler warmer no I think it's pretty all right where it is and one more thing you would have to uh, remember is whoops is to um, shoot at manual white balance I usually keep it at 5600 Kelvin as it's just I don't know usually that works for most cases sometimes you need to adjust it uh, then I do adjust it but for most case scenarios five six hundred works the best so yeah now, now we can see the difference is very subtle but uh, that's how we color grade this shot right here I wouldn't say this is the most easiest scenery to color grade I guess if you would be doing it a little bit more professionally you could get more out of this so uh, but um, this is the shop now we can copy and paste the same thing here and here we definitely need to have the contrast up brightness down highlights also a little bit down shadows can be down blacks can be at zero and uh, maybe a little bit stronger 87 wow this looks pretty good i do enjoy the colors of this shot as we can see this was how it was before without the grade just hlg and that's the grade color grade just wonderful a wonderful wonderful and easy way to color grade your footage now let's go to this d-log shot let's copy the just the same settings from this one to here as we can see it's a lot cooler and as we can see like not a lot of colors happening in this shot so let's warm it up a little bit just like that highlights yeah those are all right maybe just a little bit more of the shadows up and contrast all the way up maybe not all the way up let's check the intensity yeah that's the intensity so basically what you want to do is play around with these sliders and see for yourself what looks the best and if you have a good lot it's going to be very easy to color grade just like that look at it look at the difference that's pretty cool maybe the shadows could go a little bit up just a little bit so yeah that's that and we have another shot same place different angle different day and in hlg so let's see what happens if we copy in this same settings from this shot it's probably going to be yeah too 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 punchy and a little bit too warm the contrast can go down so highlights a little bit here and shadows maybe like this what about the intensity yeah something like this now let's see the difference and it's there all right so uh yeah <laughs> that is pretty much it that is how you color grade these shots that's how i do it i do it very quickly as i like to do it quickly and uh all you Da Vinci people are probably cringing right now who like to spend a lot of time color grading their footage like uh, an art piece but I just like to have an all right lot that makes things very fast and simple so but now how can you create your own lots that's very very easy so basically there's this site where you can download the lot generator and when it's downloaded you will have this right here and uh, you will need to generate a HALD or HALD or whatever that is. It's just basically a picture. Um, yeah, we'll do it here. It's basically just a weird picture like this. And uh, you will have to import this picture with also 
a shot. Now we can import both of these photos in uh, Lightroom or wherever you, wherever you do your photo corrections. So import. And now we have this and this. So what we want to do is color grade this shot right here in the way you would like to have it looking. So basically let's just adjust the shadows maybe, maybe adjust some clarity. Yeah. Um, what else? Maybe a little bit warmer. We actually go wild on this one as I'm just showing you. Yeah, let's make it in this weird green color and uh, maybe add some crazy oranges. Um, yeah, that's what I usually do. I just grab one of those colors and I slide around and see what happens. So yeah, maybe let's go for this sci-fi greenish look. What else can we create? Do okay. So no, 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 a little bit too much of green. Okay, uh, contrast. Yeah, maybe contrast. So how does it look? It definitely looks a lot different. So, so now we have our very funky green looking uh, grade here on this shot. So what you wanna do is copy the settings. Uh, yeah, copy the settings from this photo to this funky photo. And uh, once you do that, as we can see, change the colors. Then you want to export this photo. You want to export it in a PNG and export the PNG. Now we have the PNG exported. And uh, now you want to convert to cube and choose the photo we just exported. And it's done. And now we have ourselves a new lot right uh, where? Right here. We can uh, call it Super Green. All right, and let's uh, let's check it. Let's add this lot. Let's delete this, and let's add this lot to this shot right here. So, and now you want to add this lot, and bam! There you go. There is the color grade we just created. Oh, it's actually quite interesting. It's definitely different. It looks green. And, uh, but, well, it works. It works. Works for maybe uh, some sort of a scenery. So, and that's how you create LUTs. Very simple, very easy to do. If you want to create your own LUTs, now you know how to do it. And if you don't want to create your own LUTs, then you can go and visit my store and get to get my lot back as we can see this is my favorite lot i use it all the time it's just i don't know i like the colors i like the colors and you can get this lot back for ten dollars and if you want to support me more here you can get some wallpapers some pretty cool wallpapers for five dollars or whatever you're and you can actually name the price if you are feeling generous <laughs> and um yeah thank you for watching hopefully you were able to learn something new today uh and if you did you know you know what to do leave that like for that youtube algorithm comment down below what you want to learn next i might create a tutorial about that and uh as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video